Here we are in round two. Yes, we would like to play first. Uh, I've seen better, but I think we could do worse. Because yeah. we, we have a turn one conscripts, a turn two nothing so far, a turn three shackles, and a turn four lowland giant. So yeah, I think I think we can try that as well. Conscripts hasn't been looking too good in their deck. No. Yep. We don't have enough two drops, I don't think. Yeah, I agree. It's a nice blocker, though, and I feel like we kind of want to try to get late. Or our opponent plays nothing, so... Okay, well, a planes is probably, like, literally one of the last things we wanted. Hey, let's attack with mod conscripts. Just kidding! <laughs> Oh man, Mog Flunkies. <laughs> he has the Mog deck. <laughs> oh my God. Uh, let's go ahead and so this is kind of unfortunate, right? Since he didn't have like a turn, we can't we can't like you know we can't we can't shackles it this turn. Let's go ahead and just play the mountain. Do do nothing with our do nothing creatures. But this is good, you know, if you like Mog, Mog Flunky, well actually, if you go Mog Flunky, Mog Conscripts, Mog Flunkies, you can attack for two, but then if you don't draw another creature, you can't do anything. Why couldn't have you play the Shackles? He's not tapped. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it's a blade on him. Shackles, ha the creature has to be tapped. Doesn't kill the creature. What? No, it doesn't. Oh yeah, oh you, okay, I see what you mean. Yeah, we could have still played it. Yeah, there's... Sorry, I thought you had I, the target a tapped creature. I, I like saving it for the yeah, other creature. Yeah, that's true. We also just drew Aftershock. So here's something good, right? So if he goes to attack, we can block the coiled tin viper and then like eat three and then shackles the flunkies. Uh, that dude has first strike though, keep that in mind. Well, Lowland Giant's a four three. Gotcha. Yeah. We can't we could we couldn't attack with the conscripts. But, or the other option is we aftershock something. I like just playing a giant. Yeah. <laughs> so we finally get to attack with the conscripts and we can't. But my plan here, or our plan, excuse me, I'm used to being by myself. I would like to block. Oh, wow. Well, well, well. well. Well, well. It's okay, we have more than us. What? I thought we got all of this. Yeah. Uh, so do you think we... do we? Sh okay, so do we shackles the flunkies or the tin viper? Because the tin viper is the one that's actually allowing the other creature to both attack and block. Yeah, I think we shackles the viper. Holy crap. We've drawn land for the past five turns in a row, guys. I just want to throw that out there. Yeah. Um, hmm? yeah, I do that. But uh, I think you want to play after you have two planes and play just long mountains for the rest of the game. Yeah, I think so too. Because of the flowstone guy. Yeah. And we also have guys. Yeah. Agreed. You could blow up one of his mountains. I think three is fine, but. No, we're blowing that up. <laughs> what, that? what? That looks scary. Uh, the good thing is he has to tap out for it, and we're about to aftershock it. It's like better than any of our creatures ever. <laughs> no, yeah, no. Four, four for five. Oh That's my god. Sick. Yeah, the net draw. Bada bing, bada boom. He's over there, like chewing at his keyboard. Well, if that's the worst creature in his deck, I think that's the best creature. I think that's oh, that's what I, that's what I meant. Sorry, <laughs> the best creature. So, do we want to keep playing mountains here? I don't think so. Yeah, we have six mana. That's enough to play. Well, he's not playing anything this turn. It looks like. Okay, finally. not the best thing we could have drawn. No, but we can attack for two this turn, and we can attack with him every turn. That's a good point. 
Does he just block with his... No, Mog Flunkies cannot attack or block alone. Oh, uh, can't attack alone. I think yeah. he block. No. It's okay. different than okay. Mog Fanatic. Okay. Wait, Mog Conscripts already. Mog Fanatic is a card, though. What does that one do? Oh, no. Is he going to... What? One damage to what? To me! He's gonna try. He's gonna try me, burn me out of this game. What? With his spark touch, guys. We have to draw this our. Is that five? That's the yeah. dumbest thing ever. No man, he has us on an eleven turn clock. That's a thing. <laughs> In this format, that's a thing. So I'm, actually, I'm I'm, I'm, I'm actually glad he showed us that because now we know not to run all. Of, okay, well, that's pretty good for us too. He's gonna lose three life from the serpent warrior. Unfortunately, he can now attack us for six every turn, so we really need to draw not it's that. Not that. <laughs> we need to draw Flame Wave. We don't have enough for Flame Wave. I'm going to play another mountain so that, so that we can flame, flame Wave at the appropriate time. Do you think we want to double block? We he, can't block with the Shadow. Yeah, we can't block with the Shadow. We have, we have to attack with him. So what we could do, though, we could at least... We could shackles one of the three threes. You know? Like, we could at least do that. And that way take one less damage. But And that puts us on a on a three-turn clock instead of a two-turn clock. You want to do that at the end of this turn, right? Well, but this is an enchantment. I have yeah. to. I would have to do it. Oh, but I see, yeah. Because otherwise... You want to leave that tapped for this turn. Yeah, you're, you're right. Yeah, <laughs> otherwise it doesn't do anything. So, are we blocking with Mog Conscripts? I'm saying yeah. I'm thinking yes. Are we, though? Like, I think, I don't well, know. I think we're kind of hoping to draw the... Well, Flame Wave is going to do 4 damage to us. Is, like, the other thing. That's true. Or does it... No, it's 4 to target player. I mean, okay, yeah. Okay, so never mind. But if we want to keep our Aftershocks as live draws... Yeah. We really, we really need to draw into one of our, like, high toughness creatures. Or even... Um, like Spirit on Core or Shaman on Core would be good. Okay, well that is gonna be the end of us here. Wow. Yeah, that card's pretty good. Yikes. All oh, right. I did, forgot to return it to my hand. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I think this game was over. Yeah, I don't think Unless we were... Unless we can draw Flame Wave. Yeah. Sorry about that, guys. That was a huge misplay on my part. That's well... That's not oh. playing with. Let's go ahead and concede. Not even close. Man, we got trounced. I don't want to get trounced. I want to win. It's got some pretty good cards. Do, <clears> do <throat> we put in anything? Do we take out the Mog Conscripts and put in useful cards? Yeah. Probably like, one of them. Um, what are we thinking? Like, Mounted Archers? Well, I want something that can block oh. his 3-3s. Three yeah. So, nice. like, con Conviction sort of helps with that. Furnace Brood. Furnace Brood? Wait, target creature what? Can't be regenerated. Um, Conviction's what? Plus one, plus two? Yeah. Plus, plus one, plus three. three. Yeah. Uh, Should we put both in and take out both mod conscripts? I don't think so. Okay. But in this... But, uh, but here, look. What, what's, what's your opinion, Ethan? Or should we just... I think take out conscripts and put in another creature. Like, yeah. Armor Slayer? Sure. <laughs> sure. <laughs> Any... Anything. Man. Yeah. No, that game would have been over, because I could have played the Youthful Knight and the Shackles, and he, I would have had it... We would have had an extra turn of block. So, we could have kept going another turn. And when the alternative is losing the game, you know. But he bought back that justice. Oh yeah. It was, it was pretty over. Oh, he did. Yeah. Yeah, we'll play first. I want to like it, but we got to draw another land, real bad. I think we keep. What do you? What say you pay? I think. I mean. Yeah, it's basically like if we draw. I don't know. Let's try it out. Yeah. YOLO. I think we keep two. I don't think it's our best keep because we have like two double costed cards in our hands. Okay, that makes me feel a lot better. 
Doesn't me. Yeah, yeah, I think we would have preferred a land. Well, at least we can attack. All right, so land. No. Oh God. <laughs> okay, we're we're gonna lose. <laughs> no one panic yet. It's all right, guys. We can go two one. No, that's defeatist, Peyton. Don't talk like that. <laughs> Maybe he'll miss a no. Another, another draw step, I think. Yeah. Oh my God. Jeez. No, we needed to like be able to deal with this. Okay, well, do we play the sliver or the, or the lancer? We, with the sliver, we can at least double block something. Yeah, I think we'll with the sliver. And buy us some time. Do we double block? No. Or, do we, or do we eat six here? I think we eat six and... Hope for a land? Hope for a land or just be able to activate the sliver next turn. That's true. Yeah. Yep, coming in for six. All right, we'll we'll take it. Don't play anything. They don't play anything. Stop. No. Okay, well that's actually fine because we can play. Okay, so do we want to play the lancer or do we want to play the giant? The giant trades with all of his creatures, except this one. But the lancer can block the jackal. But if we play the Lancer, we will not be able to pump the Sliver. I think we want to attack. We can't play the, can't giant. play the Giant. We can't play the Giant. We don't want to buy uh, white stuff. What do you mean? Oh. Yeah, him, him. Not This is this is a soldier. Don't payment. mind me. Very different. <laughs> it's a large soldier. So the other thing is... No, because that only kills his Jackal. Oh, it does, it only does, it does two damage to each creature without flying. Okay, so we yeah, don't kill it. Yeah, we yeah we don't we definitely aren't doing that. We're not about that life. But so you you do want to get aggressive here? I think so. Gonna race. Gonna race. Yeah, we'll race. Plays would be a really great draw. What if he draws another aftershock though? Because we have the pump. Uh, yeah, I'm really hoping we draw planes so that we can play our staunch defenders. Yeah, he would have blown him up first. So, who do we block here? The Serpent Warrior? Yes. Yep. So, next turn, we can hit him for... Not as much. Ah, oh. this guy. I mean, can we deal with that at all? Can double block it. <laughs> well, he can. He can blow up both of our blockers. Wait, what does it do again? He pays two to remove a one-one counter from it to deal one damage to target creature. So mm -hmm. we can either play the we can play the phoenix or the wyvern. So if he removes one, he kills a blocker. That's pretty bad. Wait, but if you attack if you attack with both and he blocks one of them with the hydra, and then you play the shard phoenix, it kills the hydra. That's true, but he's he's and he would only have a three three. So do we like that? I think that I think that's a a gambit that yeah, we are think, going to have to attempt. Yeah. I don't, wait, you don't want to attack, right? No, we're going to we're going to attack. Wait. Well, what? Uh, you want to have blockers? Well, if he attacks and he blocks, we can sharding phoenix, and kill everything, and he won't be able to attack us with the flunkies anymore. Is I think what Peyton was saying, right? And then we can like reestablish our board presence. Okay. So it's it's risky, but because I like just having blockers um, and then using the shard phoenix. Because if he kills one of our blockers with the, the hydra, 
And it's going to be a 3-3. Three, three. So each creature without flying, it's going to kill both of our guys. Yeah, but it'll also kill his Hydra and his Dothy Jackal, and he won't be able to attack with Mog Flunkies. Well, no, Ethan is saying don't attack. Yeah. Yeah. But if we play this, so, so, and don't attack and don't play the Shark Phoenix. No, do play the Shark Phoenix. But the, we play the Shark Phoenix, oh, no, but, both of our guys. But, yeah, he can kill both of our guys without ever doing anything, because he can just remove counters from this. But if we, he can only kill one of our guys. We well, can kill both of them, because he has... Yeah, he can only kill one. You're right. He can Unless only... he draws another one. Yeah. No, but if he if we play the Shark Phoenix, both of our guys die. Yeah, but if we... And we don't have any blockers. That's, that's... No, but the thing is, he won't have any creatures either, right? Because we're going to deal two damage to the Hydra if he blocks, and then we'll kill the Jackal. He won't be able to attack with Flunkies. I think we're talking about two different things. We're talking about whether or not we should attack. Yeah. And if we, if we attack and he blocks... This creature will have two damage on it. Right, but Ethan is saying don't attack, and I'm yeah. questioning why. Oh yeah, why don't you want to attack? You rather because he can. I don't know. So we can block. Yeah, but why? Why we, we can just like do that now, and like we mock flunkies is just taken out of the equation. What, what, what do we block? Yeah, we. Okay, so we block sliver on Hydra. If he... Well, because he's gonna kill this. Well, if he kills that, yeah. Well, either way, we block Sliver on Hydra, I think. But this, then, but no, let him talk. Let him talk. Okay, that sorry. damage go, goes through, and then we sacrifice Shard Phoenix. It kills his Hydra and the Stalker. Oh, we're, I see what you're saying. We're left with no creatures, but he yeah, he's left with no okay. Creatures. I I see what you're saying now. I do like that plan. If we're yeah, that's fine. You're right. I understand that. I forgot that we could also block with the Phoenix and do stuff. Okay, we'll do we'll do it. Well, because yeah, there's no guarantee he he blocks. I think he definitely wouldn't block. Yeah, there's no reason to, and then he just can kill us on the crackback. Oh, you suck. Sure. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're so I'm right. sorry. I'm so confused. I but thought the Shard Phoenix did now, damage whenever it came into play. I no, didn't realize no. Had to sacrifice it. Yeah, we we're gonna have to sacrifice so I was just, it. Oh, Jesus, sorry. It's okay. I should probably read the cards. We, huh? we, we forgive you. So, but yeah, this makes it so he doesn't really have any good attacks. And in fact, the fact that he's going to probably let us block here is actually pretty huge, right? Because what we're going to do is we're going to block here and here. So you can actually... Oh, no, never mind. We're gonna, well, we're going to block here and here, wait till after combat, and then sack the Phoenix. Is that the plan? Yeah. yeah. All right. Actually, you know what's even better? No, because we want to make sure that we want to make sure the Hydra dies. Yeah. Man, this is tense. <laughs> yeah. So we, now he's gonna kill that. Which we expected. So now we just... Well, let's wait and see if he plays anything else. We'll do it on the end step. Yeah, good good job, guys. What's the other ability on the Phoenix? Uh, we can return to our hand for three mana, only on our upkeep. So, do we want to do that? I think not. Okay, because we want we want to hopefully draw. We can just play our uh, yeah our our flowstone wyvern. Yes. Wow, that was awesome. Go team. And st still hoping we draw into the um. The planes here, of Very course. Nice. Very nice. It'd be great if our opponent just flooded out too. We're getting we're really, really, really low on life. Okay, that could be an issue, but actually I don't think it is, because we have the mage. Although he is going to be able to... Don't forget we can get that phoenix back. And kill yeah. any number of those. Um, that kills very quickly, doesn't it? 
What, Maniacal Rage? So actually, can we win this five. turn? If we Maniacal Seven, Rage, he's nine. five. Yeah, so we can't win this turn. What kills very quickly? This? No, I was talking about Maniacal Rage. Oh, so I think we Maniacal Rage our dragon and then play the mage. Right? So that we have a blocker. Or do we do we pull back the flow stone, dude? No, I think we want to attack here. No, can't block. Oh right. Whoops. <laughs> Sorry, y'all. Yeah, we can only do eight damage with him, but we can win with him next turn. So we'll play him as a blocker. And we're going to have to block the flunkies. Because we need to respect that he might have that four drop zap spell, lightning blast. True. So on our upkeep, I kind of want to go ahead and get the phoenix back, I think, just in case. No, no. Because well, then we. Oh right, and we can we do. Tapped out. We can do one damage to him too. I mean, I'm sure he is, he's going to attack here, and we're going to have to. No. That's fine, right? Unless he has. Uh, unless he has exactly the other card, it's not fine. It's fine unless he has exactly. Sorry, you know what I meant. Unless he has, unless he can do three more damage to us. And he might be able to, for all I know. Yeah, if he's got the burn card, I think we lose. I mean, let's just hope he doesn't. No! Here it comes. Rolling thunder! Oh! <laughs> all right, guys. That's too bad. Yeah. yeah. Damn, that sucks. Yeah, oh well. <laughs> 